Overmode by Melissa Range. Now tell me one difference, my sister says, between Old English and New English. Well, Old English has a word for our kind of people. Overmode. Literally, over mind, or over heart, or over spirit, often translated over proud. When the warrior Breitnoff, over fool, invited the Vikings across the ford at Malden to fight his smaller troop at closer range, his over pride proved deadlier than the gold-hilted and file-hard sword the poet gleefully describes. And aren't we like that? High-strung and over -mode, as our daddy and granddaddies and everybody else in our stiff-necked mountain town, always with something stupid to prove doing 80 all the way to the head of the holler, weaving through the double lines, splinting a door slam finger with popsicle sit-ex and electrical tape, not filling out the forms for food stamps, though we know we qualify. Sister, I've seen you cuss rivals, teachers, doctors, bill collectors, lawyers, cousins, strangers at the red light or the Walmart. You start it. You finish it. You everything in between it. Whether it's with your fist or a two by four or a car door. And it doesn't matter that your foe's stronger taller, better armed. I don't tell a soul when I'm down to flour and tuna and a half bag of beans. So you've not seen me do without, just to do without, just for spite at them who told us it's a sin to be beholden. If you're bright enough, lying gutted on the ground, speeching at the troops he's doomed, then I'm the idiot campaigner, fighting beside his hacked-up lord instead of turning tail, insisting mine must be the harder, heart the keener, spirit the greater, as our strength lessens. Now, don't that sound familiar? We've bought it all our lives as it's been sold by drunkards, bruisers, goaders, soldiers, braggers with a single cold. You might be undermined, girl, but don't you never be under mode.